see the edge of silver. Is that going to be a quarter? It's going to be a half? What do y'all think it is? That's bigger than a quarter. Well, good morning, everyone. Headed out on the road today. Got to travel about 30 miles to my hometown. I got two houses that I'm going to hit. I've got uh, early 1900s. One's like 1903, and the other house is like 1930s. The 1903 home I've hunted uh, many times. It's been hunted several times, but there's one side of the yard that uh, hasn't really been hunted that much, so we're going to hit it. But it, we've held uh, club hunts there, and so there's one sides of the yard that there's things that have been planted there i might find some of those things but i'm more interested on hunting the places that i haven't hit before and uh, then i got another home a 1930s house that uh, looks pretty promising it's one of those uh, neighborhood yards uh, it's a very old home and uh, it's kind of on a corner lot it's in a neighborhood where there was a lot to kids when i was young growing up and uh, so i'm hoping that's going to turn out really good for me and so I don't know until I get there. And so uh, while I got you here on the camera with me, I wanna remind everybody to, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave me a comment when it's over. Tell me what you thought about it. Uh, and also go ahead and hit that like button. I mean that subscribe button and that uh, bell notification right there. And I appreciate that very much. But uh, I got a little bit ways to go and I will see you guys in the yard. All right, down here on my first location. You can see that's the house behind me. And uh, used to be a big tree right here. So I'm definitely gonna detect around this area, big old huge tree. And then we have a, a backyard that we can get into as well. So let's get suited up and let's see what we can find. Get the bug spray and sunscreen. I'm gonna be hunting with my Equinox 800 today. Uh, we're gonna be on Park One, multiple frequency. We're going to uh, let's see what our return speed's gonna be. Let's leave. Uh, let's put that up at five, and uh, let's put our sensitivity about 21. All right, we are ready to go. We're going to leave the horseshoe off right here for right now. So let's see what we can get. Well, it's getting a real iffy deep signal. Didn't know what it was. And like I said, this is where a tree was right here at one time. And I see the edge of silver. This dirt is so dry. It's just like powder coming out of here. Is that going to be a quarter? It's going to be a half? What do y'all think it is? That's bigger than a quarter. That's gonna be a half dollar, guys. Looky there. This is just my second target. I've dug a weedy and I've dug some trash. A 1934 half dollar. Check that out. Second target here. Second coin, I should say. 1934. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. That is in pretty good condition. It's got some wear on it. Still see the date. Got some toning. It's coming out of this old sand just really good. It's like sugar sand. Man, I'll take that any day, won't you, won't you guys? First time, so this might be a good house. So we're starting out good. Hope I didn't jinx myself. So let's keep on going. Let's see what we got. This might just be a really good yard. I was getting a real 19 and jumping around up higher and lower and there's two targets in the hole here i found one the other one's still down in the dirt check this out here's the first target right here that's why it was jumping low looks like it's just going to be some type of brad put that in my pocket and what's interesting is right here is where i dug the half dollar i'm only about three feet away and i saw there it is i saw the edge 
right there. There it is, 1942 Washington Quarter. Right here beside that half dollar. Sorry about the right beside the road here. I'll take that any day. Must be a little coin spill. It's right here where that big tree used to be. Check that out, guys. 1942 Washington Quarter. Woohoo! Let's keep on going. 1922, 24, 36. Let's see what that's going to be. There's a lot of trash in the yard. So let's see what that's going to be. Right there. There it is. It'll be a Mercury Dome. Check that out. What year is it going to be? A 1940 something Mercury Dime. 19. I can't read it. Maybe y'all can read it on the camera. But it was jumping around. Let's keep checking for another target in here. That's just falsing. Well, I checked the hole. I went deeper. And there's nothing there. Let's see what this is going to be. 19. 41 That's about the time date. This is a 1930s house And so that's three silvers My other two silvers are right out by the curb. They've just been coming up the sidewalk Working this side here side of the driveway And then we're going to come over here and work this tree down the side and around to the back 11 All right, getting a 12 right there. Let's see what we get. Let's try to live dig this one. Could have been live digging because it's been a lot of trash. So, let's see if I can live dig this. Let's see what we come up with. Let's see if it's out of the hole. Ah, that's why I don't live dig them right there. There it is. Pull tab. Well, just right beside that uh, nickel, that pull tab I just dug, that nickel signal, I was getting another jumpy nickel signal. And I didn't live dig it because of the trash. Pop this up, check this out. This is what I love about the Equinox. I know that I wasn't digging that. I was getting a nickel signal. But it was jumping around. That's why it was jumping around, right there. But check this out. It's right there. Y'all see it? It's going to be a silver nickel. 1940. 41, 44, 44, and that's why I love the Equinox, because it can differentiate between the two. Most times a single frequency detector is just going to pick this up, and that was masking this signal, but I, I, my Equinox sniffed it out anyway. So let's put it right up there, let's get a picture. This has been a good yard so far, and I've only just done one side of it. Let's get some pictures and keep on rolling. Jumping all high and low. Jumping all the way up to 33. Let's see what it is. Check that out. There's another target in here too. Can y'all see that? 1942 Washington Quarter. Coming out of this sand polished up looking good. Check that out. Let's see what else is in here. Look at there. 
gonna be a a rosy got a coin spill here 1956 1956 rosy that's why it was jumping all around from like a 30 up to a 33 wow check the hole listen to that Still something down there, down there deeper. Now uh, this time it's going to be a, a staple. Check that out. A Washington quarter, a rosy dime, and a staple. Now the Equinox can get those masking. Nothing else in the hole. I'll take that any day. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Gosh, man, that's a lot of silvers. Let me show you everything that I got so far. Check that out. A half, two Washington quarters, a mercury, a rosy, a war nickel, and a wheat penny. That is just awesome. I wasn't expecting this, but I was hoping to, you know, to get something. All right. Let's keep on going. Boy, I'm out of shape for this land hunting. I've been water hunting all this summer and I'm just in my first land hunt. So um, it's not too hot today, about 75 right now. But uh, hey, it's been a good day. I'm gonna keep on going. I haven't done the side or the back yet or the other house. So let's keep on at it. Well, let's get the 19 to a 20. I just popped it up and it's gonna be a pin. I broke the pin off the back of it, but uh, let's clean this up together and see what it is. Time to break out the holy water. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Let me show it to you first. See, I broke the pin off the back. And there it is. I'll get my other camera if I can't get a close up. Let's see what this is gonna be. I bet it's gonna be a Boy Scout. I don't know. I see something on it but I can't make it out can't make this out so I don't know what I thought it was it's gonna be a Cub Scout pin there's the wolf right there it says Cub Scouts on the bottom I can clean it up a little bit better maybe you can see it right there that's what I thought it was I broke the back of it off but this is my second one of these I've dug Put it in my Boy Scout collection. Let's get a picture and let's keep on going. You're not gonna believe this. Let's get a 26 right on top of the ground. You're not gonna believe this. Check this out. Look at that. Right on top of the ground. Mercury dime. 1943. Surely that wasn't on top of the ground. I, did it fall out of my finds box or did it, was it on top of the ground? I find it hard to find a Merc sitting on top of the ground, but it could be. I bet this fell out though. I bet this fell out. I'm going to look in my box and see. I went back and looked at my pictures and this is not one that fell out of my box. This was where I found that quarter and that rosy dime was this 44 mercury dime. I kicked it out with my shovel. I didn't know it. And, uh, and wow, I can handle that. That was a three coin spill rather than a two coin spill. But anyway, I'll take that. Let's keep on rolling. We're going to get on the side of the house now and see what's over there. I was getting 11, 12, 13 jumping around. And check this out. It's another war nipple. 1945, last year. So all the coins have been like in the 40s. And all I've done is that side of the sidewalk and this side of the sidewalk. And everything's been right in here. There's a hole there, 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 and here. Check it out. Oh, what a day. I'm fixing to go down the side now. Well, I was getting a 15. And, can you see it? It's going to be a watch winding key. That's what it looks like to me. It could be something else. It looks kind of like a watch winding key. All right, let's keep on going. Working the side yard here. All right, 29, 28, 26. 
the 31 to 33. All right, let's live dig this. Maybe we get us a silver quarter out of it. All right, let me just set you up live here. Hang on. No ground is very dry in the backyard now I'm right beside a clothesline so let's see what we can get still there it is right there I don't know. It looks kind of like a token, but I don't think it's gonna be a token. It's a big silver disc. Let me clean it up better and let me see what we find. All right, let's get out the holy water. Let's bend it. I think I can bend it with a... I was hoping it's gonna be a token, but I think it's just gonna be a just a plain aluminum disc. Ah, that'd been great to be a token. Well, I'm headed over to the next house. It's not too far, it's just right down the road. This house, I think, was built in 1903. Uh, but like I said, we've held uh, local hunts here. And uh, the, the right-hand side of the yard is where we buried everything, so I'm not really gonna dig much over there. But, but on the left side, We've never planted anything over there. It's just still you know, native ground. It's where we use the parking lot all the time. And uh, so I'm gonna hunt around over there and see if I can't dig up a few more things. Since I'm in my hometown and I'm about 30 minutes from the house, might as well hit it when I can and uh, see what we come up with. But wow, you can't beat that last yard, can you? That was pretty awesome. All right, uh, I'm almost there. I'll show you the house when I pull up. beautiful house this is my aunt's she lives here and uh, we've held hunts way back there in the back pasture and all up through here I'm not gonna hunt up in the front yard here I'm gonna hunt mainly on this side because there hasn't been a lot there we never planted anything over here so everything on this side is gonna be native and they even have an old house down that way <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna hit so let's get at it Look how big this tree is. It doesn't do justice on the camera. This is one huge, I think it's a Catawba tree. I'm gonna step around it starting right here. I'm six foot two with a long gate here in my step. Let's see how many steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 steps times three, that's about 36 feet around that tree. That's how big it is. It's gotta be at least 200 years old. This property dates back, this is the old part of my hometown, this uh, North Street out of downtown. So let's just focus right out here. And, cause I know we never planted anything out here as a club. And so everything planted was over there and nothing was ever planted in the back. So I'm gonna hunt back there too. Well, I'm out from the house down here by the road, by the fence. It's getting a 17 to a 19. Check this out. Looks like an old, old knife. It's been there for a while. I wanted to come hunt right here because there used to be a big tree, a big bush right here and I never could get inside of this. All right. Old pocket knife, still in fairly good shape. I mean, the blades are gone. Well, I thought I was getting a nickel, but it's popped up being a an old button. 
you know this town that I'm in dates back to 1845 and this property dates back well this house dates back to 1903 I think so this is native stuff over here I don't like I said that's all planted over there there still might be some native stuff over there but <clears throat> could find some old stuff over here I wouldn't be surprised we don't find old coin or two old relic or two just a lot of a lot of ground to cover that's getting a 19 to a 21 that's always a sound of a an Indian head and uh, I have dug an Indian head out here before I'll see a green could it be could it be come on come on yes yes I see it like that right there I think it one cent right there the shields on the very top Rub it. rubbing some of the patina off 1907 1907 Indian head penny I'll take it let's sit it right up there and rub some of that patina off it may clean up really good I don't want to rub that patina though I like that patina now right, let's get a picture keep on rolling Wow you ever have those days where you just don't find anything and you get so discouraged and then you come across a day where you just find everything and you just get so excited this is one of those days I have had a great day and I just get an 11 12 right here kind of a deep signal and real iffy but I'm just digging everything and because uh, it's an old place and this side over here hasn't really been hunted and so pop this up and check this out got me a little buff check it out still in pretty good shape I don't think I can see the date let's see I might can see the date on that maybe not Usually you can't see dates on buffalo nickels, but I'll take a buffalo. <laughs> Let's keep on going. There could be some more stuff out here. I got an Indian, I got a buffalo. Now we need a barber. Check this out. A solid 33. I didn't live dig it, but it's a good tone. What do y'all think it is? Could it be a barber quarter? Could it be a quarter though? Come on. Come on, be something crazy stupid. Watch it be just trash. Where's it at? <laughs> I can't fire this. Oh my goodness, do y'all see that? No, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. That is a Kennedy silver half dollar. You're kidding me. Out here in the middle of this field. Oh, it's not silver. It's 1974. Oh, 74 is not silver, is it guys? Or when was the last time silver? I don't think this is silver. Oh. That had me going two half dollars in the same day though. That's still a good, I think it's 74. Yeah, 1974, Kennedy half dollar. All right, I'll take it. I'll take that, man. This has been an incredible day. All right, let's try this again. There's a 35, 34. <clears throat> good high tone. About eight inches deep. Let's uh, let's try to live dig this one. Last time I got a Kennedy half, but I didn't live dig it. So let's mark it. Let me get the foot, my camera set up. Great if it's like a barber half or another walker. The ground is so dry, it's just powder. It's like talcum powder. But the coins are coming out good. It's 
Still down there deeper. Every time I live dig, it's always something junk. All right, okay, there it is. There it is. I don't know what it is. It's another Kennedy half dollar. You're kidding me. Another Kennedy half dollar. Let's see what year this is. 1970, no, 1994. 1994. Man, three half dollars in a day. Two clad and one silver. Who'd figure? All right, let's keep on going. I don't know. Being that deep, this has not been planted. So this is native. It's just been here probably since the 90s. Okay. I think I got this figured out. That is about uh, five inches down. And this is my third Kennedy half dollar. It's planted on edge. I can see the edge there. It's planted on edge. And uh, that's why I think during a seated hunt, most people would have missed it. I don't recall planting on this side of the yard, a seated on our seated hunts. But apparently I haven't been part of the club for two years or or so so they could have had a silver hunt over here on this side of the yard because I, I don't think I would found three silver I mean three Kennedy half dollars in a row I don't think I would have found them uh, if they're a native I think these are planted because I found another dollar coin too while ago so let's uh, pluck this one out of the ground where I thought I was getting excited because I'm finding native coins. This is a 1971. And uh, so I think this was planted over here and I didn't know it. What a bummer. Now that I sit here and take a little break and trying to remember, uh, I served as the president of this club for six years. And we had hunts here at this house for, oh, I bet, five out of those six years or four out of those six years and I didn't remember having a hunt on this side of the the house over here but I'll turn you around everything between the driveway and these trees is native and that's where I found my buffalo and where I found that Indian and where I found that button and everything on this side of the tree down to the creek apparently we planted some uh, Kennedy half dollars over there and uh, because I don't think you can find three half dollars in, in, in a spot. They're kind of rare coins to find, even clad ones. So I think it was a hunt because I found a dollar coin too. So we must have had like a dollar, uh, you know, a half dollar hunt as a warm-up hunt. And then had our main hunt over here in the field, in this, in this yard. I'm not going to hunt over there anymore because I don't care to dig um, stuff that's been planted. I may make another sweep or two where I found that buffalo and, and see if there's any silver down through here. But I know there's nothing back over my shoulder in the back. We've never hunted in the back. Uh, we planted on this other side of the house where a big gazebo used to be, but we never planted in the backyard. So that's where I'm headed next. There was a garden back there. I'm going to run through it real quick and see if I find anything. If I do, I'll put my camera on it. Show it. If not, we're going to load up and we're going to head on to the house. So, but anyway, let's uh, get another drink. Let's cool off. Let's get over there in that garden. Let's see what we find. All right, I got rested up. Came back here to the back of the house because I know we didn't plant anything here in the back. And so I'm just going to hit <coughs> this side over here down toward this house. There's a used to be an old garden out here. And so never know what you're going to find. Got me a real jumpy signal. I wouldn't think it's going to be a dime because uh, it sounded more like a penny. But when I popped it up, Check that out. I see a little silver right there. Yep. 1940 something. Mercury Dome. All right. Maybe there's going to be some stuff back here in the back. Got a 2021, 19, six inches deep. All right. Let's, uh, See what we can find on this one. Let's live dig it. Let me get my camera set up for you. I know sometimes 
I remember one guy was telling me, unless I dive dig, it doesn't count. Well, if I had to live dig everything, I would just eat up all my footage on my camera and burn my battery up because I dig way more trash than I do good targets. And so when I can live dig them, they sound good, I'll try them. And every once in a while I'll get lucky and it'll be something good. But this is gonna be my last target of the day. I am wore out. This is my first land hunt. It's warmed up and my back is killing me. So we're gonna see what this is, good, bad, or ugly. We're gonna take it, we're gonna go to the truck, we're gonna do a wrap up, we're gonna go home. So let's see what this is. Let me get you set up. All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, is that what it's gonna be? He's some lead. Surely not. Nope, there's something else in the hole. Hey, check that out. I think I broke his head off. That's a little lead toy. They had both of these in the in the hole. Let's see if I can search around for his head a little bit. No, I don't hear it. Maybe it wasn't on there. Maybe it was just a little lead toy. Check that out. I'll take that. That's a nice little, probably dates back to the 30s. That's a good way to end the day, isn't it? A good toy right there. I had a good day today, a lot of good stuff. I'll see you at the truck. Let's do a wrap up and let's lay it all out because I dug some other stuff I didn't show you. So let's go do a wrap up. Well, I made it home. I was gonna do a wrap up at the house where I was last detecting, but I didn't have my towel to lay everything else out down on. So I decided I would just come here to my house and uh, lay it all out for you. Man, what a day. I had no idea that uh, that yard was going to be so good. I've only done one other yard like that <clears throat> in this hometown that I live in right now that was like that, like seven or eight silver coins in one little yard, in the front yard. But they went silent once I got on the side and the back. There really wasn't any silver back in those areas. But, man, I had a really, really good day. And uh, you saw it all already, but I've got it laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found. I found more stuff I didn't show in the video, though. All right, here's all my lead dig a lot of that in the house site I thought these were tokens but they're not tokens they're just pieces of aluminum uh, here's all the other trash here and stuff you digging yards just about all the stuff shotgun heads and that's an old head too if you look at it it's the uh, new club so that's a uh, early 1900s there but check this out quite a bit some type of little plate some type of little uh, Indian soldier. I got a bell. Uh, I guess that is a uh, it's a Zippo. It's a lighter, an old lighter. A couple of watch uh, watch uh, cases, whatever you call that. Some type of Watkins uh, lid. I'm not really certain on that. I did get a toy gun. I did get one little button. Nothing on the back. Uh, it's too corroded, but it's a two-piece button. Uh, got an old pocket knife and a watch winding key. I think that's what that is. And a Boy Scout pin. Uh, like I said, I think that place, that second house I was hunted was a planted yard, a seated yard for a hunt, and they just missed these things because I found that dollar coin. I found those three uh, Kennedy halves. I got uh, two dimes and one nickel, six pennies, and that's all I got on clad. And here's my other. I got uh, five, six, seven, eight wheat pennies. I got one Indian head, 1907 Indian head penny. I got a buffalo nickel. Can't see the date on that one. Two war nickels. So I did get my trifecta between uh, war nickel, buffalo nickel, and a, just a clad nickel. Then I did get one Rosie, 1956. Got three Mercs there. Not sure on the dates. I can't remember 1941. What is that one? A 41? I guess. I can't read. And a 44. 
and uh, then I got two Washington quarters, 42, both 42, and then check that out, a 1934 Walking Liberty half dollar. That is awesome. That is awesome. So pretty good day today, just for about a four-hour hunt. So there's all the trash, and here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go to an old house and dig up out of the yard and do a wrap up on your tailgate. The greatest treasure, my friend, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.